Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to be making my website for this channel, Start Starting Up. And I've decided to use Wix for the first time ever to build the website. So I thought this is a great opportunity for me to film my experience and let you all see as a complete beginner how easy it is or how difficult it is to use Wix to build a website. So let's jump in and you can follow my progress. So if you click on the link below in the description, you'll come to this page. And I'm just gonna get started now building this site for the first time ever. Let's see how easy this is. So the reason I'm using Wix this time around is my old website for this channel, it got completely taken down by my old hosting provider. I was using a hosting provider and I had WordPress previously for my old website. And my hosting provider took my site down without telling me and I lost all of my data, all of my website design and everything. And I just did not want to go through that whole process of buying hosting, installing the website files and building it all from scratch and doing all the design and all the HTML coding, it's too much work. So this time around, I wanna make it as easy as possible and I've decided to use Wix to build this um, with like an automatic website builder that should hopefully have a ton of templates and I can speed this up. So because I'm making this website for my YouTube channel, which is, I see as a business, this, this channel is all about building, um, selling products online by building a brand and my YouTube channel is my brand, it is my business. I'm gonna select business as my um, website and hopefully it gets me some nice templates that I can use for the site. Oh cool, so let's see some of these templates that they have on here for a business site. Sweet, so there's quite a few nice eye-popping ones already. I want a simple looking site. My homepage is just really going to be a, um, an email capture landing page. So it's something nice and simple. So I'm actually gonna go for this first one here. Let's use this one. So I'm gonna go for this free template. So it's completely free to use Wix uh, and to build a website. If you want to get rid of the adverts that Wix puts on your website, you can pay to remove the ads. And that's what I'm gonna do with this website because I don't want any ads on this site. But you can make a free website um, as long as you agree to having ads on your site with Wix, it'll be completely free. I'm paying what I think is five pounds a month to have my own site with my own domain name, so startstartingup.com for free. So it's taking a bit of loading time, so I'm gonna cut this now, but when it loads, I'll come back and let you know and we get started again. Okay, cool, so the template's loaded now. Full disclosure, a little video pops up when that loaded and explains how to use Wix. So I have a general idea now, um, sort of how to navigate around the site, but I haven't actually tried to do anything. So let's try and make my start starting up website from scratch using Wix in this editor. So all, the only two pages I want for now is gonna be my home page, uh, where I can capture people's email addresses and invite them to join the Facebook group um, and send them my bi-weekly newsletter. And also I wanna have a contact me page. So it looks like it's already popped up and made me a home page with this cool site is coming soon graphic on the main page and then if you scroll down there's a um, email address capture form which is just what I want. I don't really want this um, this coming soon bit here. So I'm gonna try and work out how to get rid of this. Let's have a look. Okay, well I'm gonna change the background color first actually and make it my brand colors. So start starting up brand colors are green and white. So let's make this like green to start with, just to make it more reflective of my brand. So green, okay, cool, there we go. I'll find the exact green at a later time, but for now that's, I've made that green. Um, how on earth do I get rid of this coming soon section? Okay, cool, so. I can change that text bit there, so maybe I will just keep that text for now. And just put my brand name in there, start starting up. Sweet, all right, that's done. I'll leave the font as it is for the time being. Stay tuned. I wouldn't mind getting rid of this clock though, so let's see if we can figure out how to get rid of the clock. Image, yeah, it looks like it's that. So can I just press delete and get rid of this? Hey, I can. All right, so I got the site. I'm just gonna change this first bit to like welcome to start starting up. So welcome 
two. Okay, cool. So you load the site. I can't type. You load the site and it's gonna say, welcome to start starting up. And then when you scroll down, there'll be a um, email capture form there. So let's just add the E, so that's spelt right. Sorry if my torturously slow internet connection. All right, cool. Welcome to start starting up. They scroll down. I'll get rid of that. Stay tuned at a later point. And then we've got the email capture form. So I'll just write something here like um, subscribe to the newsletter. So how do I do that? God, it's a bit hard to work out how to change text. I think you have to double click. Yes, here we go. So I'll just write something simple now and, and go back to this and think of something really creative in the future, but just some simple introductory text. Here's the newsletter. So up below. So it looks like it's given me a launch page, which I don't want. So I'm gonna get rid of any mentions of this being a launch page and just say, you know, sign up to be the first, sign up to, um, sign up now, there we go. So double click again, yep. Change this to sign up now. Don't know what's wrong with me today, I can't type. Okay. Subscribe up now. We need to sign up now. So yeah, the reason I've chosen to go with uh, Wix this time is I was looking through the features and I saw, you know, as well as having all these templates that you can use and customize easily, um, it's mobile friendly. They've got ready-made contact forms. So when I go to make the next page, the contact me page, there should hopefully be a form that I can just use really quickly to allow people to contact me. Um, there's social buttons included like these at the bottom so I can link people from my website to my YouTube and my Facebook. What else have we got? Um, you can connect Wix to your email marketing supplier. So I use Aweber to manage my emails and I'm gonna connect Aweber into um, this Wix site so that anyone that puts their email address in this box gets saved to my Aweber um, contact list and I can simply save that. So I've got no idea how to change this, this box here. Ah, I see, so these are the pages. They've got the home page at the top and the subscribe page down below. I see, but for some reason it's not letting me change this text, so Oh, here we go, edit text. I'm an idiot. So you've just got to click on the text box once, press edit text, and it lets you edit it. So start starting up. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, you've got a pretty general idea of how this works. You can set your colors, do your homepage, you get a nice scrolling site, you go down, sign up. The email sign up box is already there. I'm now gonna try and make my second page, which is the contact me page. So I'm hoping I click this pages box at the top left and I can just, oh no. Oh yeah, I can press add page here, add page. And I want the page to be, um, I want to have a new page, yeah. I think I'm gonna to have to go back and add a link to my menu as well. But let's just type here, contact me. This is gonna be my other page done that's going to be below the subscribe page so i'm just trying to drag that below it but not make it a child okay so we've got three separate pages so now i'm going to go to the contact me page which has been added to the menu up here oh and when i click it ah this uh this seems a little bit jumpy. I'm hoping it's just because I have, um, oh, okay, so I'm on the new page, the contact me page. I didn't really know what was going on then, but it's taken me to the second page, contact me. Okay, so now I'm on the contact me page, which I've made, which is the second page, in addition to my home page. And on this page, I just want a simple form where my 
visitors to the site can put their name in and then they can um, put their email address and send me a message and I get that message come through to my inbox. Um, so I'm on the contact me page. I'm gonna try and add like a contact form to this page. So I'm gonna press this add button and hopefully there'll be some contact forms that I can select and easily drag and drop it into the website. So let's see, add, I wanna add a contact form. So sorry about the extremely slow internet connection. I, Contacts, all right, let's add this tool here. So I think I just click it once, yep, cool. Click it once, so we've got the email, name, subject, message box, and a send button. So that's been easily added to this second page. I'm just gonna try and stretch it out to make it bigger. Does that work? Yep. So make it wider this way. All right, cool, so that's the the crux of what I was trying to achieve. I wanted to do a home page and I wanted to do a contact me page. Let's press this preview button and see what that does. So the reason I use this, um, I used Wix as well, is because Wix does easy to use um, websites for desktop and mobile. It makes it compatible for both of the screen sizes without having to do any tinkering on the back end. So one thing I wanna test now in the preview is that this site works, looks okay on desktop, which it seems to be. I'm gonna obviously change that horrendous blue that's in the text boxes. But let's preview on mobile now as well. So um, edit desktop view. Edit mobile view, let's see. Okay, so yeah, it still says Skyline in the logo, which I'll obviously change to start starting up. But we've got the contact form there. There we go, and I'm gonna go back to desktop now, and then I'm gonna go back to the editor. Change that logo quickly, make sure there's nothing else that I need at this stage. So how do I change this logo? So, shape, let's click on this. I can move that anywhere I want to. Change shape. Okay, so this is hidden behind. I don't want to change shape actually, because that's just the square, but it looks like this is hidden behind my page. Let's see if it's the same on the, um, on the home page. Let's click on home to go back to the home page. Okay, cool. So I'm back on my home page now. I just want to change this skyline logo. Um, so I believe rather than clicking the shape, I need to click the text box once, and then I should hopefully be able to press this edit text button here. Here we go, yeah, and type in start starting up. <laughs> My typing is atrocious. Okay, let's get an R in there. Cool, so I've changed the logo, I've made a home page quickly, I've made a secondary contact me page. Let's just check the home page now in the preview mode. So this is what the home page looks like. Start starting up, you scroll down, you've got a sign up box, and then let's just check that in mobile, edit in mobile view, make the change. And this is what it's going to look like on a mobile phone. So, you know, that's not taken me a very long time at all. And this is the first time I've been using it. I have been fumbling around a little bit. But, you know, in a relatively short time, I've made a home page and a contact me page for my new website. Um, I'm going to stop the video now and I'm going to go back and fine tune this website, make it look exactly how I want it to. But this just shows that even if you haven't really got any web development skills, you can use a drag and drop website builder like Wix and you can even make a free website to start building your brand and selling things online, which is what this channel is all about. So, you know, I think a brand website is really important. If you want to make money online, like I've said before, you need to create a big brand, create an audience so that you can direct your audience to your products and you need to be committed to taking this seriously and treating it like a real business project. But if you have that commitment and you want to go ahead and do this, it looks to me uh, like Wix is a really good platform to just getting a website up and running and start driving traffic to it, whether you're doing a blog, an affiliate marketing website, a uh, brick and mortar business promotional site, or you're promoting your freelancing skills. I think Wix is a pretty good way to go. And as I get more familiar with this, I can see potential at this stage. As I get more familiar with this, I'll be giving you more in-depth tutorials um, and yeah, giving you tips and tricks along the way to maybe connect it to your email provider, add your Facebook pixel 
uh, and to really start making money with your brand website. So yeah, if you want to use Wix, there's a link below. You can go ahead and get one set up yourself. I'm going to keep tweaking with this and then make sure to check my new website, startstartingup.com, when it's up and running and you'll be able to sign up to my newsletter and see exactly how this uh, finishes off. So thanks for watching, guys. See you very soon. Bye.